All right, now we're gonna show you how to plant the garden boxes. Um, by this point, you should have the hose barbs in on each side, and then everything should be empty and ready to go. So from this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the insert in. This is our patented wicking system. So what this does is it will allow the water at the bottom of the container to wick up through here and get to the roots of the plant, and so the plant gets the perfect amount of water without overwatering or underwatering. So we'll start with that, and then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pipe and you're gonna put that down inside where this hole is, it will just slide right down. It has slits in here, and that allows you to add nutrients down through the pipe if you need to, and that will um, be able to get to the water source down there. So you'll slide that in there, um, next, you'll start adding your potting mix. You can use any brand of potting mix. Um, there's no specific one that does a better job, but it does have to be potting mix. It cannot be any regular dirt. The potting mix um, is fluffier and it allows the water to um, wick up to those roots. So we'll get started. You'll need, for one box, you'll need one large bag of potting mix and a little bit of another, um, of a second bag. So if you're only filling one box, I would recommend getting one large, one large bag of potting mix and then another smaller bag. If you're filling up multiple, um, then you can get uh, however many large bags based on how many boxes you have. But it takes about one full bag and probably this much of a second larger bag or a small bag of potting mix. So what you'll do is you'll, I felt like it would be less awkward if I used this rather than try to dump the large bag myself. So you'll fill, you'll start filling up your, um, the inserts in the center and you'll wanna pack it, not super tight, but pack it so that it is um, that it is uh, compact there. And same thing as you go, just press that down. Once you get to that point where those center slots are full, You'll take your hose, and I put mine on mist so that I don't oversaturate it. And I'll just turn that on. And you'll just mist that water. You just want to get it nice and moist so that it can get started for those roots. And then you just keep filling it up. And about every couple inches or so of dirt, well, probably three to four inches, is when you're gonna wanna uh, get that potting mix nice, nice and moist again. Um, again, not to saturate it, but just so that it gets um, that moisture and it allows the roots to get up there or to get that water a little bit faster. So about that point, we're gonna miss that dirt again. And we'll just keep working our way. Actually, oh, let's see.
Okay, at this point, when you're about, oh, three or four inches from the top, we're going to add our first bag of nutrients. Um, we'll add this and then we'll get it moist. So there's two bags. This one will go on the top. It's a smaller bag. This one will go uh, mix in with the dirt at this point. Um, sometimes it'll be in a granular form. Sometimes it'll be in a powder form. So they, they work the same. It just depends on what's available when we go to get the product. So don't be panicked if one time you get a granular and one time you get a powder, it will work the exact same. So we're gonna add this in. And you just sprinkle it over. And then mix it in. And if you don't want to do um, use the nutrient blend, you just want to go straight orga organic, you can. Um, obviously, this helps with any of the plants, but you're more than welcome to just um, go straight organic. That is totally fine, too. So once that is nice and mixed in, then we'll get it moistened again. And then we will continue to fill up. Okay, and I had a thir about a third of a bag of dirt left in that one. So you can kind of see how far that gets you. You'll want to go to the top and then dome it a little. So we'll add a little bit more dirt to that still. One more, getting that a little bit damp. And then we'll top it up. Should get us where we need to be. Okay, so once I get to this point, we're just going to even it out. So at this point, uh, kind of decide where you're going to, uh, what you're going to plant, where you're going to plant it. Um, ideally, if you're planting um, smaller. Um, plants or herbs, you can kind of stagger them a little bit. If you're planting larger ones, um, like back here, I just have the one tomato in it. So I would move my nutrients back here. So that gave me a little more room. But if you're planting on both sides and you'll want to go right down the center, 
with your nutrients. So just keep that in mind when you're getting ready to plant. So you'll dome it a little bit, make that crevice there, and then you'll take the smaller bag of nutrients Open that up and just spread that down the middle there. And then just even, even that out. And then that gets you to the point where it's time to turn, put on the plastic. So you do need to have the plastic on here. Um, that's a question that gets asked a lot. Is, is the plastic necessary? It is, it helps keep that moisture barrier circulating in there. It also prevents the weeds from being in there. Uh, you don't want to let it dry out. So when you have, like here we have 114 degree days, you do not want that soil to dry out. So the plastic barrier on here keeps that moisture in the soil and allows that to um, circulate and uh, the process to continue to work like it's supposed to. It is not a hydroponics and it is not aquaponics. It is a gravity-based watering system. And so this helps that watering system uh, continue to work like it's supposed to. So you'll just even out this plastic. Where the tube is, I just take the knife, um, kind of fill around, take a cut. I just make an X cut and that will allow me just to slip this tightly over. And even it out. And then next this lid will go on here. And then I just pull that plastic tight and seal that off. Um, and then for me, I like it better with the plastic trimmed and cut off. I just think it looks better. So I'll just take this and follow it around and without cutting the box, just slide through there and then trim off that plastic all the way around. And for me, I just like the cleaner look of it. So that's how you can trim that. Um, and then when you're ready to plant, if you're doing seeds, you want to make sure that there's enough um, of a slit in the seeds. So I will cut out about a portion that way. So I'll show you that to plant seeds. So I'll make the slit. But then you want to be able to get light down there. So I'll make it just a little bit bigger so that when I plant those seeds, the light can get to where I plant the seeds, yet it still keeps that plastic on there. Just like that. And it just depends on what seeds you're planting as to whether how wide you make that slit. And now if you're planting um, starter plants, I just make a big X in that. And then that will allow me to clean out that dirt from there, put the plant in, and then put the dirt right back around it if there's, um, if you need the dirt that you removed to pack that down in there. Um, so those are the different ways that you can plant that. And your box is ready to now be connected to your watering system, the reservoir box, and then hooked up to the hose. Um, for the first couple days, I would water just a little bit from the top while the soil is absorbing that water and getting to the roots and the roots get that firm um, foundation in here. Um, and then after that, you're good to go. You do not need to water anymore and your plants will get the perfect amount of water and nutrients and you can literally garden anywhere without having to go through the work of gardening.